Okay, so this project is at the stage where the soil is being amended and what that means is to add organic matter to improve the existing soil. So after taking off the exist existing sod that was here, the soil is very compacted, so uh, we put down soil mender, organic matter, and it's purchased manufactured compost. It's not something that has to be grown by the homeowner. And then the microorganisms that are in the compost will work on the existing soil. It's incredibly important that the soil in a garden be top-notch by having organic matter and these microorganisms working. If you don't have that, you will never have healthy, healthy plants. You actually buy the microorganisms in the form of EM, effective microorganisms. It's called EM1. So this garden is being designed on two levels. One is for the enjoyment of the family. There's going to be a patio in the front. There's not going to be a big hedge or fence. The plants will create a lot of biodiversity. The important thing about planting a garden for the first couple of years is no matter how drought tolerant you want your garden to be and low maintenance, the first year and second summer especially, or into the second summer, you will need to water regularly. There's no such thing as a no water garden. When the plants are actually planted, to put something called a mycorrhizae inoculant around where the plant's roots will actually meet the soil. And what the mycorrhizal inoculant does is to encourage mycorrhizae, which are the fungus that attach to roots, and actually help the plants absorb nutrients in the form of water and the different mineral uh, things in the soil. Changing this garden over from being a turf garden, just a basic front lawn on all the levels that, are, that were here, is we're changing from a monoculture, which is what a lawn is, it's a monoculture, to a really nice diverse garden that will attract several different animals uh, in the way of insects and birds and all kinds of butterflies, nice things in the garden. The choices for hardscape are that people generally use are manufactured concrete blocks or concrete itself or uh, different natural stones. Concrete itself very often needs to have some sort of drainage in it and once you start draining off of concrete it's usually linked somehow into going into storm sewers much as our sidewalks and our roads do and all of that waste then goes into the ocean and pollutes the ocean. If you have it in a sand base, like is being done here, then everything is permeable and the water is actually going back to the water table instead of going off into the ocean. You need to decide if you really want to spend weekend after weekend pulling up all this sod because it took two men almost two days to do this section of removing the sod.